Dear Diary, it's now Saturday, it's uh, 10 and 22 a.m., and it's 14 degrees outside. <laughs> um, so, like I have said in the community post I have shown yesterday, apparently they, they're just not happy or satisfied. Like how I have expected them to be. Like for the fucking first time. I succeed. And they just. Are bothered. Was a minor. Goddamn. Inconvenience. I mean. Those are grades that would be raised up by three or five mods. So. In any case. I've already passed. And they just literally worry about some dumb things like risks and shit. <sighs> but honestly, I mean, what the hell did I expect, to be honest? When I have such dumb parents, who have been literally the reason all the way why I was such a goddamn idiot. <sighs> oh well, that's not just open that up because honestly I hate opening that kind of thing up so um, yesterday when, while I was sleeping yesterday I have been have been sometimes been stumbling upon some cartoon openings and I've looked the uh, I found a video that contains some of the um, older cartoon, older cartoon openings for most, you know, selected titles. And, um, honestly, I think I might just go back into watching cartoons. And maybe just play the, the featured video games that I've played back in my childhood. Because, let's be real. The only way to literally forget that you were ever an adult is by getting back to, is by going back to what you used to do when you were a child. And watching cartoons and playing their games is no surprise. A, long, a little short story about my discovery for cartoons and animes. Uh, basically, I've discovered anime and uh, cartoons all together. On, uh, at first, back in the day in my childhood, it was only on two channels. And since that Egypt is an Arab country, uh, we only, we, the only way we were able to watch those, those cartoons and animes was in a really really now cringy really now cringy um Arab dub so that means uh, so that means Ruby Spears Mega Man would be in Arabic Generator Rex in Arabic the very first original Ben 10 show in Arabic dub uh Naruto in a shitty Arabic dub Dragon Ball Z uh, Detective Conan, also known as Case Closed in Arabic. Uh, a Gundam Wings thing, and so on. And, I, but I'm gonna be honest. Like, those, as much as I hate those Arabic dubs now, but back in the day, they really really made my days pretty good, you know, and not to mention the fact that I was quite having a pretty good time, and not only that, but I used to be pretty excited about most things, and, um, yeah, it was pretty nice. It was a pretty nice time. A pretty amazing time. 
And uh, later on, there was a channel called Space Power that is also specialized in anime, uh, anime, but in Arabic dubs that you know increases over space students library of anime by Naruto again Inuyasha uh Fuziki Yugi um you know and um a little show called, called Dragon Buster um and uh yeah, and so on. And all of these were in Arabic dubs. And sometimes there would be some weird AMVs, but in the same, with the same Arabic singer lady. You know. Like, it is, it is really something. Like, it is really, really something. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. There was a Sakura Award. There was a Sakura Award anime in Arabic dub. Like, can you imagine it? An anime of Sakura Awards is in Arabic dub. Which means... Yep, double cringe. But then again... I don't think any of that is going to be surprising for most people. Ah, and let's not forget One Piece. One Piece was also on there, and in Arabic dub. And, and like I said before, those were the only ways that you could ever watch anime or cartoons in Egypt. Or any other Arab country. But, in any case, like I said, they were really amazing times. And... And during those times, I only cared about nothing but the cartoons and animes and their related games, especially when they are flash games, console games, or any other types of games that would be really amazing. And of course, like I literally used to watch watch some playthrough of Ben 10 you know, for Zogax attacks playthroughs with my sister back in the day and it was like a pretty religious thing back in the day because uh, we wouldn't be able to afford or get it back in the day especially when we have a PS when we have had a PS2 <clears throat> and I'm gonna be honest I don't think I would have ever agreed more to going back to watching the cartoons and shit, because like I said, uh, these days is are just the darkest days. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to ever be surprised by the amount of bullshit that I have had. Thanks to uh, all of that. <sighs> like, let's be real. I have lost a huge part of myself after I've been an adult. <laughs> and um, going back to being a child and a cartoon lover. <laughs> And the stuff related is probably the only way. In fact, and weirdly enough, did you know that, that Space Tune Channel used to have an actual magazine? Yeah, an actual magazine for the, ch for the TV channel. Like, how crazy can that get? I mean, like, honestly, I would just go... And honestly, right now, I'll just go on and on about how crazy and amazing those channels used to be. And, ah yes, eventually there was a, a Cartoon Network Arabia and Nickelodeon Arabia. 
which which ben, brings us to the moment where I discover all of the shows or almost all the shows that, that we have ever seen. But then again, be advised the sense that they have Arabia in their name, which means Arabic dubs. Cringy Arabic dubs, to be honest. Like SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, Cat Dog, uh, that one Scooby Doo show, um, you know, Camp Laszlo, uh, Hail, All Hail Angelo, uh, Regular Show, Adventure Time, you know, all of those shows. They were just pretty amazing. Even with that dub uh, back in the day, since that I was just a child, I I just loved watching them. With all the funny stuff, the exciting stuff, everything you could ever see, you know. I just I just miss watching cartoons and playing the video games. And I might honestly just get myself back into playing those and uh, watching those because let's be real I don't think that um, I will ever be able to recover like at all now that um, all of that had destroyed me no, like my uh, my excitement for things is all gone. Uh, my positivity and trust in people are gone. Uh, I can't depend on anything or anyone anymore, you know. And I still want to quit the social media and. Um, uh, I'm still having diseases and some more shitty memories. My left ear is still blocked. My throat is still burning. And I'm, my nose might start dripping again. And I was shivering a lot. And which brings us to the reason why I'm absent from college. Yeah. <clears throat> And, um, it's just a complete fucking bullshit. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna be real. Like, as a matter of fact, if it wasn't for social media, literally none of my animes or my games or even... Uh, a big half of my cartoon shows would have ever been ruined. But then again, um, what can I do? I guess there's just no way other than isolating myself for good. I mean, I'm still here on social media, but... I just don't know for how long I can keep this up. I, I can't guarantee anything. I can't guarantee that there will be another one of those assholes will come into my comment section and just, just make more goddamn bullshit at me. Not to mention, of course, the many hate, hate comments and stuff that's... Not to mention, of course, the backlash that I'm already getting by by each second. Like, I'm already suffering enough in real life. And people just want to make me suffer more. And I just wish that it didn't have to be that way. I honestly... 
I would have literally just left the goddamn thing long ago if I if I knew only earlier that there's gonna be this kind of shit over me. This is our timeline after all. This is our current timeline. Where we literally, or just me at this case, missing the, the old times where I didn't have to care or think or need to know anything except for what's in front of you. No one really didn't need to know anything else aside from what's in front of you. And that's it. So, yeah. I guess making yourself a child is a complete big option. Which is also by... Uh, which is basically watching cartoons and playing their related video games. Other than that, and if that didn't even work, then I don't even know what the heck am I supposed to do anymore if nothing's gonna ever work on having me moving on. Because honestly, it's... Um, it's fucking painful. It's fucking painful. And I just want that goddamn pain to end. And sometime soon. Because, like I said, I'm already having a physical fucking pain. With lots of diseases. And I might be probably having fucking COVID. Well, I don't know. <sighs> Meanwhile. I was on top of the goddamn mental pain, of course. <sighs> well, hopefully, hopefully this, and hopefully, like, hopefully that will be the last of this whole thing, because, like I said, I just want to move on with my life. I just want to actually be able to, you know, be, be able to die without any more fucking regrets. Alright, I just want to sleep soundly. I just want to die peacefully. You know, I don't care about anything else. I just want to, you know, just sleep soundly at night and to literally not having my conscience beating my ass up and uh, not for ha not having my goddamn brain beating my ass up was more goddamn merry like enough is enough i already have more regrets than you could ever imagine i couldn't confess to the girl i loved and literally just ruined her heart I have ruined the trust of most of them, some IRL girls that could have been potential girlfriends, or at least one of them. I have gone into the fucking social media and made a terrible start. I moved all the way up to become a fucking pedophile, and then kept going down until I became a fucking RP pervert. And then later on, a few years later, I'm a fucking pedophile on a Discord server, and people are just catching up on me. Not only that, but I have ditched a lot of better friends that were way better than them, that actually cared, even though they weren't very active. And, um, yeah. <sighs> Not only that, but... I've also wasted a lot of goddamn time on the social media. That ruined a future that I would have obviously got with a flying color. <sighs> and look at where I am now. <sighs> it's not 
So you see, I have regrets, a fuck ton of regrets, that I will never be able to shove them away as long as I'm alive. And yet, society just wants to put more regret on me. Alright, I'm gonna end this here.